What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to spend a few minutes to talk about why I personally just do not think that Carnival Cruise Lines is a buy right now, despite its current price. So, Carnival Cruise Ships is a cruise ship company, and it's the largest cruise ship company in the entire world. In, in fact, it is much larger than the next largest competitor, and as of today, April 15th, it closed at $12.38 a share, and was at over $51 back in January. And with that being said, I just still do not think it's a buy. And the reason why I say this is because Carnival is because the way that coronavirus has been impacting the cruise ship industry as a whole, and especially Carnival Cruise Lines. So cruise ships were a large area of initial concern when coronavirus started to spread initially because whenever, whenever people were on a cruise and if one or two had a coronavirus, because of being in tight quarters, it would spread very quickly. Also, com com countries, especially ones that didn't have coronavirus yet, they didn't want to accept cruise ships. This caused people to to not want to take cruises anymore. The cruise ships have fallen off the cliff as if as far as the as far as the number of people that are taking them is concerned. And as of recently, Carnival Cruise Ships has actually announced that they are canceling all cruises through June twenty sixth. And this is extremely important because this means that they're not going to be making any money, and they're going to have to burn through a, a lot of cash. And they currently are burning through a lot of cash. Millions of dollars each and every single day just to save, just stay afloat. But the biggest thing for me, for me as well, is that there just isn't really a light at the end of the tunnel for the cruise ship industry as a whole. The reason why I say this is because for one thing, government bailouts, right? Um, it, the, the government has been bailing out industries, as we all know. Recently, they have started. They've issued stimulus checks, and they've had billions of dollars of loans to small businesses and so much more. Um, in my opinion, I really just don't see cruise ships as an area that they're going to bail out for a couple reasons. For one reason is because a lot of cruise ships are flagged in other countries that aren't the United States and they employ people that aren't Americans, making it to where, you know, if they if they help support cruise ships, then they're really not supporting the American economy and American workers very much. But also, cruise ships aren't vital for our modern economy, unlike other industries such as airlines. For example, for example, when it comes to airlines, people take people take it, it planes for business trips, and they take they utilize airlines to get things done. Unlike cruise ships, where cruise ships are just for leisure and just to have fun. So, with that being said, that gets me to my next point, and that is, I think that the coronavirus situation has the potential to lead to a recessionary period for months, maybe even years to come. Um, it's too early to tell at this point for certain, but but unemployment has been at record, record highs, and that's crucial because people are unemployed, they aren't going to spending money, and that has a negative effect on consumer spending, which is a large driver of the economy, but also various other aspects of the economy, such as mortgages, as people just aren't going, going to be able to pay the rent as much as they're unemployed and not making any money. And with that being said, that being said, they're going to be very, very hesitant to to spend, make large expenditures on things that are just really unnecessary, such as cruise ships and and take vacations as a whole. And a third aspect is a new regulation that was released this year called IMO twenty twenty. At the current oil prices, IMO twenty twenty wouldn't have as much of an impact on the cruise ships as it would have in in the past at the higher higher oil prices if they were still operating. That being said, IMO 2020 is something that I feel is going to impact the revenue of cruise ships in the long term, and it's going which affects the present value of their stock and makes them just not worth as much, in in my opinion. And the reason why I say this is because so IMO 2020 is a regulation where the sulfur content that 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 marine vessels such as cruise ships can have in their diesel is greatly reduced, and this is extremely important because it costs money to get the sulfur out of the diesel. And so that's going to decrease their fuels costs, which in the long term, even once they start back up again, is going to decrease the amount of revenues that they are able to earn. I mean, will they survive the coronavirus, right? I mean, in my opinion, I feel that they can survive, that they have the ability to survive. You know, for one thing, I mean, they have a history of paying dividends. Now, because they're paying millions of dollars every single day to just stay alive, I do see that they're likely going to be cutting their dividends. But dividends are a sign that they had financial strength before the coronavirus situation. Also, they had a very, very large amount of assets. So here is their 10K. So here's their 10K, and here's just some of their financial statements. As you can see, these numbers are in millions, right? It's a massive company. 
their total amount of assets is over $45 billion and their equity and their equity was over $25 billion. So if you take so with that assets equals liabilities with Socrates equity, their liabilities are as little under $20 billion, which is extremely important because they have assets that are much greater than their liabilities, which means that they really aren't leveraged very much and that their cruise ships are things that they own a lot of as opposed to having to finance them with debt, which is extremely important because if they need more cash going forward, these are assets that, that they are going to be able to sell to generate more cash. But with that being said, you know, if it got to, it got to that point, really, I feel like companies as a whole and are, are going to be buying massive cruise ships to use. I mean, they might buy them to convert them to something else, but if they did need to sell them, they wouldn't be able to sell them for as much as they would in a normal economy. Also, going forward, yes, this this is a good sign that they might be able to stay alive, but that doesn't mean they're going to shrink a lot. I mean, I personally think that even if they do stay alive, that because that because they're spending so much money right now, they're going to shrink a lot, and it's going to be difficult, very, very difficult, if not impossible, for them to get to the point to where they were before. Another interesting thing to look at is their net income. Um, and this can be a decent sign, because as you can see, the revenue has increased drastically from 2017 through 2019. And also, as you can see, their net income has increased has increased decently from 2017. Um, and this is a good sign because in the normal economy, people are going on cruises. With that being said, the normal economy will potentially not come back to us for many months or even a few couple years. And because of that, I, I feel that there are other ways to play the current market that will allow you to earn more profit. Like taking positions in, for example, stock company, for example, technology-focused ETFs, as technology is critical to, to our day-to-day -day lives now, and it's critical to growth even in a normal economy. Also, airlines, right? A position in a cruise ship company like Carnival is a position that is likely going to benefit if, if and when travel gets back to normal. But another way to play that is through airlines, which, in my opinion, are stronger because a they're more needed in our in our economy, but also, but also you can get an, an ETF that allows you to track the airline industry as a whole. There's an ETF with the ticker Jets J E T S. Um, it's down greatly, but it's at fourteen seventy nine right now, and this, in my opinion, is better way to make a trade on the on an increase in travel once coronavirus ends, and because they hold a wide variety of airlines and because if airlines cost so much money to start up if one airline ends you know usually another airline comes in to take it to take its place or buy its assets or for the demand for example this is pan and pan am airline when pan am airlines went down a company such as delta and american bought their assets right there wasn't a new company that went in and bought their assets so if the airline industry as a whole goes up even if one airline line goes down this ETF will allow you to take advantage of growth in the industry as a whole, which in my opinion is a much better play than Carnival Cruise Lines. Will Carnival Cruise Lines come back someday? Potentially? But quite honestly, I just think it's too early to tell and there's just no light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and as kind of a soft plug, a great way to trade any stocks is through Robinhood. So Robinhood is a, is a brokerage platform that allows you to trade stocks, options, e e ETFs, and crypto for completely free. If you sign up using my link in in description below the, this referral link right here, you can get a share of stock for completely free. You have one in two hundred chance of having the share of stock being worth like over hundred dollars, and it's usually worth between five and six dollars, which is a great way to get you some skin of the market at the currently low prices without having to spend any money at all. Also allows you to take advantage and make a few trades at the suppressed prices without having to pay any fees. So I hope that this helped. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.